Looking to upgrade VirtualBox to the latest release? Version 6.1.30 is the latest one out, and I'll show you how to do that. In this release, Oracle has made some minor changes, nothing major too significant. Here's a look at the change log. Now, if you had some issues installing this on Mac OS, specifically if you're installing this on Mac OS Monterey and you're having issues installing operating systems, you might wanna do this update first and then go ahead and try it out. So I'll put a link in the description below to this change log, as well as all the detailed notes of, of the bugs that were fixed. So you can take your time and go over all those changes if you're looking for something specific. So with that out of the way, let's get to the update. Okay, so we're here at the Windows 10 desktop. I'm gonna open up VirtualBox. And typically right away, it should prompt me, like I just did right now, to download the latest version, uh, which is 6.1.30. Uh, now, if you don't get this, what you can do is you can just click on the file menu and then scroll down to check for updates and it'll look and you should get the same prompt. So once you have the prompt up here, you just click on this link and it'll open up a web page and start downloading the latest update. And now that's complete, so we'll just click on open file and I'll just minimize the browser here. And to make sure that we don't have any problems, I'm just gonna uh, close out of the current version that I have open right now, and I'll continue the setup. So I'll click on next. I'll leave all these options as is. The location, I'm not changing either. And then I'll click on next. And I'm leaving everything selected here and clicking on next. So we're ready to proceed with the installation. So I'm just gonna click on yes, and then click on install. Now it's gonna overwrite everything related to VirtualBox, but you should not lose any virtual machines that you have installed. Uh, and you might notice that we'll get a second icon on the desktop. You get a prompt over here, just click on yes, and it'll continue through the installation. Okay, so the installation is complete. You can see it created a second shortcut over here at the desktop. You can delete one of them, you don't need them both. And then it's gonna start it right after. We'll leave that checked and we'll click on finish and it's gonna load up the VirtualBox. Now it wants to install the latest version of the extension pack because I have the older version. So we're gonna click on download and it's ready to download that. So we're gonna click on the download button again and we're ready to install it. So we can click on install and now it's gonna be upgrading. You can see the version change from 28 to 30. So I'll click on upgrade and we need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then select I agree. Say yes to the prompt and it's successfully completed. So you can click on okay and it's gonna delete any temporary file. So that's good with me. Click on delete and delete again and we're up and running. So. If you had any virtual machines loaded in here, this is a fresh installation I had done uh, last week, but um, if you had any virtual machines, they should stay the way it is. All it is doing is updating the VirtualBox manager. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you're trying to install macOS Monterey, it's a good time to do this update before you do the installation. So once again, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're looking for more content like this or installations of many different operating systems. You can check out the channel. I have a lot going on there. Once again, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.